What if a meteor the size of Australia hit Earth? It's a question that haunts our nightmares, a scenario straight out of a disaster movie. But what would actually happen? Could anything survive such a catastrophic event? The answer is complicated and terrifying. Let's delve into the science behind this hypothetical apocalypse. Imagine a rock spanning over eight and a half million square kilometers, larger than the entire Australian continent. This behemoth, hurtling through space, has set its sights on Earth. The energy released upon impact would be unimaginable. The asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs was a mere speck compared to this behemoth. We're talking about an extinction-level event. The aftermath would be just as devastating, the planet would be forever changed, its atmosphere choked with dust, its oceans roiled by tsunamis and its surface scarred beyond recognition. Picture this, a colossal asteroid, its diameter stretching over 3,000 kilometers, hurtling towards Earth at an unfathomable speed of tens of thousands of kilometers per second. This celestial behemoth, dwarfing any asteroid we've ever encountered, carries with it the energy equivalent to millions of nuclear weapons. Its surface, a chaotic landscape of craters and ridges, reflects the violence of its journey through the cosmos. This is no ordinary space rock. This is a planet killer, a harbinger of chaos and destruction on a scale never before witnessed by humankind. The sheer size of this asteroid is difficult to comprehend. Imagine the entirety of Australia, from the sun-drenched beaches of Sydney to the rugged outback, condensed into a single massive rock. That's the scale of the threat we're talking about. As it draws closer to Earth, its gravitational pull begins to tug at our planet, distorting our tides and unsettling our atmosphere. The sky, once a familiar blue, starts to glow with an eerie, foreboding light, a harbinger of the doom that awaits us. The moment of impact is nothing short of apocalyptic. The asteroid, traveling at unimaginable speed, slams into Earth's crust with the force of a billion atomic bombs. The energy released is so great that it vaporizes the asteroid instantly, carving a crater hundreds of kilometers wide and tens of kilometers deep into the planet's surface. The shockwave from the impact travels at supersonic speeds, instantly flattening everything in its path for thousands of kilometers in every direction. Mountains crumble, forests are vaporized, and entire cities are reduced to rubble in the blink of an eye. The Earth's crust, unable to withstand the immense force, buckles and heaves, triggering earthquakes of unprecedented magnitude across the globe. Volcanoes, dormant for millennia, roar back to life, spewing molten lava and ash into the atmosphere. The air itself becomes superheated, igniting massive firestorms that rage across continents consuming everything in their path. The very air we breathe becomes a deadly, searing inferno. In the aftermath of the impact, the planet is plunged into chaos. Oceans rise in towering tsunamis, racing across the globe at jetliner speeds. Coastal cities are obliterated, swallowed by walls of water. Skies darken as pulverized rock and ash blot out the sun. Fires rage across continents, transforming land into wastelands. Earth, once vibrant, is now a scarred and desolate wasteland. Section 5. A World in Shadow As the dust and debris from the impact slowly settle, a new and terrifying reality sets in. The Earth is shrouded in a perpetual twilight, the sun a distant memory. The once familiar blue sky is now a sickly gray, the air thick with ash and the stench of death. Temperatures plummet as the sun's rays are blocked by the thick atmospheric blanket. The planet, once warm and hospitable, is now locked in a global winter, a chilling echo of the nuclear winter theorized during the Cold War. The oceans, once teeming with life, are now choked with debris and ash, their temperatures plummeting as sunlight is extinguished from the surface. Marine ecosystems collapse, unable to survive in the cold, dark, and toxic waters. On land, the situation is no better. Plants, deprived of sunlight, wither and die, breaking down the food chain and leading to mass starvation. The few remaining animals struggle to survive in a world plunged into darkness and despair. Section 6. The Great Dying. The impact marks the beginning of a mass extinction event unlike anything Earth has ever seen. The combined effects of the impact, the tsunamis, the fires and the global winter prove too much for most species to bear. In the oceans, plankton, the base of the marine food chain, die off in droves, starved of sunlight. Fish, whales, and other marine animals soon follow, their once thriving ecosystems collapsing like dominoes. On land, the situation is even more dire. 
Plants deprived of sunlight can no longer photosynthesize leading to a catastrophic collapse of food chains. Herbivores starve to death, followed by the carnivores that prey on them. The few surviving animals face a constant struggle for dwindling resources, their numbers decimated by starvation, disease, and the harsh environmental conditions. The planet, once teeming with life, is now a graveyard of extinct species. Section 7. Could we survive? The chances of human survival in the face of such an apocalyptic event are slim to none. The initial impact, the tsunamis, the fires, and the global winter would likely wipe out the vast majority of the human population within a matter of days or weeks. Those who managed to survive the initial onslaught would face a bleak and uncertain future. They would have to contend with a toxic atmosphere, a lack of sunlight, dwindling resources, and the constant threat of starvation and disease. Survival would require an unprecedented level of cooperation and ingenuity. Underground bunkers, stocked with supplies and equipped with artificial light sources, could offer some protection from the harsh conditions on the surface. However, even if some pockets of humanity managed to survive in the short term, the long-term prospects for our species would be grim. The Earth would be a fundamentally changed planet, and it is unclear whether humans could adapt to such a hostile environment. Section 8. A Cosmic Perspective The hypothetical impact of an asteroid the size of Australia serves as a stark reminder of the immense power of the cosmos and the fragility of our own existence. In the grand scheme of the universe we are but a small and insignificant species clinging to a tiny rock hurtling through space. While the likelihood of such an event occurring in our lifetime is extremely low, it is not impossible. The universe is a vast and unpredictable place and we must always be mindful of the potential threats that lurk in the depths of space. However, rather than succumbing to fear and despair, we should use this knowledge as motivation to further our understanding of the cosmos and to develop technologies that could one day protect us from such catastrophic events. For in the face of such cosmic indifference, our greatest strength lies in our knowledge, our ingenuity, and our unwavering determination to survive. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. That's all for Nifty Narrations.